Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I create both music and code videos, which include beginner to advanced topics. And while there is no set schedule, I tend to bounce back and forth to keep a semi-healthy <laughs> balance of nutritional goodness. And so in today's video, I'm going to take you on a deep dive into the incredible world of Superior Drummer 3's multi-output feature within Logic Pro X. Now this will work for any DAW, I'm just preferring Logic Pro X for this example. So if you're a music producer, an engineer, a drummer, then this one will be an exciting video for you and I think you're going to find it very useful and it will increase the quality of your productions. I'm going to show you how to utilize and take full control of your drum tracks by combining your DAW, again in our case it's going to be Logic Pro X, and Superior Drummer 3's powerful features to create a more realistic and dynamic drum mix using your own plugins. So stick around and let's dive into it. Oh, and if you are a drummer and you have these things around, just toss them out the window. You don't need them. You have Superior Drummer 3. Now let's get into it. Superior Drummer 3 is one of the most powerful drum samplers available on the market today. One of its best features is the multi-output function that allows you to route each drum element to its own track in your DAW. This feature is not only useful for mixing, but also for processing individual elements of the drum kit. For instance, you could add compression or EQ or any other effect to the kick, the snare, or hi-hat, or any drum instrument without affecting the other elements in the mix. This is an excellent way to add character and personality to each drum element in the mix. So let me show you an example. I have a basic drum loop here that I created using Superior Drummer 3. And as you can see, all the drum elements are routed to one stereo track. The audio you just heard was from a two-channel stereo output, which works great for building basic drum concepts. However, let me show you now how to use multi-output in Superior Drummer 3 inside of Logic Pro X. Now, before we assign our individual outputs from Superior Drummer 3 to Logic Pro X, we will first need to do some initial configuration in order to continue using the multi-output features of Superior Drummer 3. To do this, we'll select from the instrument area here, we'll go to Superior Drummer 3, and instead of clicking Stereo, let's choose Multi-Output 16 by Stereo. That will load up the instance of Superior Drummer 3, which we have here. I'm, for this demo, I'm going to stick with this Live Room Hansa default. Actually, not the default. I'm going to use the Maple Kit 2. You don't have to have this, I just like the sound of it. Okay, so since we've done the multi-output instance of Superior Drummer 3, we can now move on to the next step. Now, from within the Superior Drummer 3's Mixer tab, we will select Apply Multi-Channel Outputs from the menu like so. So first, we'll go to the Mixer, and then we'll click Mixer, and then apply multi-channel outputs. Now what that will do is it'll switch the channels from all routing out to one and two to individual ones. So the kicks are grouped together in this kit, this particular kit. The snare is routed to three and four. The snare bottom is routed to channels five and six. The hi-hat is output seven and eight, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some of these you may have to reroute. For instance, the overhead is going to the same bus as the kick is. And so what I'll do there is I'll just pick a different one. Let's we'll say channel 31 and 32. The order doesn't necessarily matter. It's more purely for your organization. And with that said, everything is being routed to their own individual tracks. Next, I'm going to create tracks for each element in Logic Pro X. We can close our instance of Superior Drummer 3 for the time being as we route our 
tracks to Logic Pro X's mixer section. So I'll close the instance. And one of the things I'm gonna to have to do here is there's a couple ways you could open the mixer. I tend to use just the letter X on my keyboard. So I'll hit X and that should pull up the mixer tab. Another way you could open up the mixer tab is by selecting view from the menu inside of Logic Pro X and then choose show mixer, like so. With the mixer tab open, you'll notice on the instance of this, of this channel strip that there's a plus and minus button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this plus button all the way until we can't click it anymore. And what that's gonna do is gonna, it's going to create multiple tracks within our instance of Superior Drummer 3. Remember, we, we chose the multi-output 16 times stereo. So there are 16 tracks here that we can route audio to. So since we've already done that, if I were to hit play now, we should see some activity in all, or at least some of these channel strips that we have inside of our instance. And there you go. We see it. We see the activity happening here. So the next step I would probably do is start to label these. So we have the first one is our kicks. The next one is snare top. The next one would be snare bottom. The next one would be hi-hat. The next one would be toms, I believe. And then, you know, whatever you would like to do, you could continue on with this process. If we open up our instance of Superior Drummer 3, basically these channels right here, channels one and two, correspond to the kicks. So if I were to solo these sections here and now hit play, we should only have input and output on kicks, which we do. And now I've unsoloed everything and we're hearing everything again. And so it can be very, very powerful to route your audio using Superior Drummer 3 and Logic Pro X. Okay, so now that each drum element has its own track, I can process them individually. For example, I'll go ahead and toss some reverb on the drum snare only and see how that sounds. I bet it's gonna sound pretty good. Now, you could do this in Superior Drummer 3 uh, using their mixer and their uh, plugins, which are fantastic, by the way. It's just that it's a workflow thing. Like you're already inside of your DAW and you probably purchase some really amazing reverbs. So we can use those and leverage those into our own tracks with Superior Drummer 3. So let's walk you through and how to do that. Okay, so now it's time to add some dynamics processing or effects processing to our individual drum tracks and elements inside of Superior Drummer 3 and inside of Logic Pro X. And specifically, I'm, at, I'm going to add a snare verb to the snare top track. And to do that, you would just route a bus or send and add a reverb to it, just like you would traditionally do in Logic Pro X's DAW. You could also add an effect right here, right in the channel strip plugin window. Although I prefer a bus because then I can control its volume a little easier and I could maybe apply that to other instruments later on in my production. So for this one, I'm just going to leave the Valhalla, which is a Valhalla vintage verb, stock reverb. I'm going to leave that as the snare verb. Just it's the default instance when you load it up. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to play this track and while I play it I'm going to increase the send volume here so you can hear the difference from dry to wet signals. So here we go. Cool, so that may have been a little extreme for the reverb sound but you get the idea and that was the example I wanted to show you on how you can affect and manipulate and add your own dynamics processing and effects processing on individual tracks with inside of 
Superior Drummer 3, and Logic Pro X. And there you go, guys. That's how you can use Superior Drummer 3's multi-output feature to create a more realistic and dynamic drum mix inside of Logic Pro X. You see, this is an excellent tool for producers, engineers, and drummers alike. I encourage you to give it a try, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, everything is an experiment. I've been Eric, you've been awesome, I will see you in the next one.